Hello friends, welcome to my channel M Square Analysis Project. Today we are going to see about what is mean by plane stress and what is mean by plane strain. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, three dimensions, 3D. What is mean by 3D? So it has all X, Y and Z dimensions and which we have to consider. So every object in the world is a 3D object which is to be analyzed. So everything is a 3D. But while doing a finite element analysis, we convert this 3D object into a 2D object by using plane stress and plane strain condition. So the, there are two different criteria for these two conditions. So we will convert this 3D into 2D using some conditions. So that will be converted into two conditions. Either it will be plane stress or either it will be a plane strain condition. So for the plane stress, these are the some examples. That is thin plate having small thickness, beams of uniform small cross sections, web frame of the tankers means there are some circular tankers at the end we are using some wave frames to support it so these are the wave frames comes under the plane stress conditions for the plane strain examples are tunnel means big tunnel dam having uniform cross section with a longer z direction dam long cylinder tubes then which is uh, applied with the pressure from the inside okay so let's see what is mean by plane stress in detail so we will define the plane stress as it is an analysis of stress condition in one plane only means for this plane stress condition we will use only one plane that is x and y plane xy plane now what do you mean by this plane stress stresses in the third directions are neglected so this is an important criteria which is for converting 3d object into 2d under this category plane stress so suppose there is some plate which is having small thickness t it is having small thickness t so when we apply the pressure here or we, we apply the force on this both the ends so it will try to get uh, elongated in the both direction x y also in the z direction but if you see the stress is coming inside this plane so in x and y direction there are maximum stresses we will get but in case of z direction we will get a small stresses so stresses in the third directions are neglected means we can neglect this sigma z and consider as a sigma z is equal to zero so because of z direction so we will get shear stress in x y x z and y z also equal to be zero so when we get this condition this condition is called as a plane stress condition means which is having smaller thickness these type of objects we will convert into plane stress condition and how we will define this into the analysis only we will draw a 2d plane like this and we will apply the forces like this and we will apply forces and we will convert this object into 2d and we will do the analysis as sigma z is equal to 0 so this condition is called as a plane stress so keep in mind having smaller thickness and uniform cross section that will be converted into a plane stress condition now we will see the, what is mean by plane strain condition now similarly plane strain it is an analysis of strain conditions in one plane only now if you see this is an example of a long cylinder having internal pressure in from the uh, for this tube and if you see the strains coming into this body this is a 3d body so epsilon x 
epsilon y and epsilon z so these are the stresses strains coming on the z direction this is a z direction so we, these are very very small means if you apply the pressure it will try to get on this side we, it will try to get on this side but deformation on this side is very very less as compared to x and y so strains coming in the z direction are very very small as compared to epsilon x and epsilon y so this case we will convert into a 2d this 3d object is converted into 2d like this and we will apply the pressure from inside like this so this is a 2d object this is a 3d object so when we do the plane strain condition means strain in the z directions are zero so epsilon z is equal to zero because of z direction we will get shear strain in z direction along the x and y we will get a zero so such cases we have to consider into plane strain conditions means in plane stress thickness is very very small in plane strain thickness is very very long so we will convert this 3d object into 2d object and find out the analysis and we will after finding out the analysis whatever the results we will transfer along this z direction so we will get the final result so such questions we have uh, done in this book so this is a one book paper solution so all the questions are given in this uh, paper solution book from shivaji university from december 2010 to may 2018 thank you